hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'll be taking you guys through the crm installation prerequisites all the softwares you will need in order for you to be able to install a crm successfully if this looks like what you're interested in definitely do keep on watching welcome back guys so like i said before this video is all about the crm installation prerequisite so i'm going to be taking you guys through um, the installation of these softwares that you'll be needing the softwares you'll be needing are microsoft visual c from 2008 to 2015 you have to install this you also be needing a warm server You'll be needing Sublime Text. That's if you don't have any editor on your system. you also be needing Google Chrome. If you don't have it installed, you need to install this. So I'm providing the link in the description box below. It's where you can download all this from in case you don't have it installed. So let's get right into it. Okay, guys, let's check if we have them installed. Go to Control Panel. Go to Programs programs and features so in case you want to find out if you have any of these softwares installed on your system this is how to go about it so you can see that i have microsoft visual c plus plus from 2008 down to 2015 i also have um, 2019 installed but don't worry if you don't have that your system will still work fine and see my WAMP server sublime test so I will go ahead to uninstall all this so that I can show you guys how to install them one after the other on your system. So all you need to do is just follow the steps in this video. Okay guys, so let's go to my files. I already have these softwares downloaded to my laptop. So you can just go to the description box, click on the links and download them to your system and then follow along. So for my Microsoft Visual C++, I'll go ahead to install 2008. I'll go ahead to install 2008 down to 2015. So I'll go ahead to install that. Please note, you need to know what your operating system is. Is it a 64-bit operating system or a 32-bit operating system? So I will go ahead to show you guys how to um, check that, how to determine what operating system, how many bits your operating system is. Because if your operating system is a 32-bit operating system, you will go ahead to install the 86 here you can see 2008 already only has 86 so you go ahead to install 86 if your system is a 64-bit system you need both install 2010 for those of us that our system is 64 bits you will install the one that says times 86 and the one that also reads times 64 so you install both of them on your system why those who their system are 32 bits will only install the one that says times 86 so go ahead and complete the installation always check i have read and accepted the terms and conditions Then click on finish. In order to check how many bits your operating system is, type system information on the search bar. You see system type. So you can see your system type. Then check is it times 64 based PC or times 86 based PC. So that will help you determine which Microsoft Visual C to install. So you click on I agree to the license agreements. And then continue. So go ahead and install the second one for those of us that have times 86 based PC. Just close this.
if that particular one doesn't install for you don't worry your system will still work fine so just go ahead to install all the uh, microsoft visual c plus plus Don't forget, for those of us that our system at uh, times 86 based PC, you're only installing the 86 based PC Microsoft Visual C. And for those of us that our systems are 64 based PC, we're going ahead to install both the times 86 based PC Microsoft Visual C and times 64 based pc microsoft visual c plus plus so i'm going ahead to install my sublime test we're halfway there so let's go ahead to install our warm server Okay, I accept, next, next, next. So that is the installation part for our WAMP server. When you get this error message, don't worry, just ignore. So here you go ahead to select your Chrome instead of using um, Explorer. As your default browser you go ahead and select Chrome go to programs it can either be found in program files 86 or program files then find Chrome application Chrome and OK then select your sublime text that you've already installed here as well click on yes find your sublime find your sublime test part select open next finish and that is it guys so let's go ahead to open our one server. You can see down here, your one server is trying to set up. Once it's green, it shows that setup is complete, but you can right click on it and click on restart all services to make it faster. So go to your Google Chrome browser and type localhost. Enter. So you see guys, your warm server is ready. Let's also go ahead to confirm other softwares that we installed. Let's check our sublime text. Yes, our Sublime text is successfully installed. 
you check your Google Chrome. Your Google Chrome is fine. Then let's go to our control panel to see our Microsoft Visual C++. Go to programs, program files and features. So you can see uh, Microsoft Visual C++ from 2008 to 2015. So now that we've gone ahead to install all the softwares we'll be needing, in our next video, we'll go ahead to download a CRM software of choice and install the CRM software. If you have any question regarding this video, kindly leave a comment in the comment section below or email me. My email is in the description box. I'll go ahead to provide answers to any questions that you might have. Thank you for watching. Bye. See you in my next video.